Hey, in case you haven't checked out calendar lately, this year is just about halfway over. Some of you may be saying, yes, and others will be thinking, oh crap, really? In today's motivational firewood message, we will be sharing tips and strategies to make your second verse better than the first. Here we go. Welcome back to the Motivational Firewood YouTube channel. Steve Gamblin here. Back in my business networking days, I was an area director here in the state of New Hampshire for BNI, Business Networking International. And what that meant was I oversaw several chapters in about once a month would get to go there and reward people for passing the most referrals or generating the most revenue for their chapter members or inviting the most guests who became part of the group. And it was so much fun to recognize people for their accomplishments. Absolutely love that. I think it should be part of every organization. What I did start to notice on occasion, though, was some people were so far ahead of the others that it seemed they won every month. And I used to get worried about people not trying as hard because they felt, well, if I can't beat that person, I may not get the award. One of the things I created was the Second Half Superstar Awards. And I kind of modeled it after some of the basketball or football games we see where you go into the locker room at halftime and the coaches may praise you for something you're doing well, give you some pointers on what they could do better in the second half, or if they're doing really, really badly, rip them a new one and <laughs> inspire them to come out in the second half and kick some butt. And it makes me think of what may have gone on in the locker room this past football season at the championship game when my beloved Patriots were losing by a mile and came back and won. What they did was built upon their strengths. They went back to their training. They went back to basics. They trusted each other. They propped each other up, and they busted their butts individually and as a team to come back in the second half and win the whole damn thing. What did you not accomplish in the first half of this year? What is still important to you? What would be winning to you? Is there a way you can kind of take yourself into the locker room at this halftime part of the year and give yourself a pep talk? Maybe go back to basics. Maybe start over on something. Maybe it's going to be something you've been pushing off, pushing off, pushing off. That's really going to help you out if you go after it. Is there a book you would like to write? Hey, is there a book you have to read to learn something? Is there a new skill you have to make part of your arsenal? Are there people you need to reach out to? Is there a big project you wish you could take on? What is it? We're coming up on halftime. What do you want to achieve in the second half that could make you a second half superstar? Think about it. Put pen to paper and really give it some thought and start brainstorming some ideas. Give yourself that little talk and come out of that locker room ready to rip it up in the second half. If you'd like to have access to more pieces of motivational firewood just like this one, Hit that subscribe button up there in the corner. We'll catch you soon.